हेलो एवरी वन मै सेल्फ पीना जोशी आई एम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश महाराजा कृष्ण कुमार सिंह जी भावनगर यूनिवर्सिटी एज यू नो दैट फिफ्थ सप्टेम्बर वी हेव सेलिब्रेटेड टीचर डे रिमेम्बरिंग डॉक्टर सर्वपल्ली राधा कृष्ण सो डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश ऑर्गेनाइज द सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ टीचर डे इन विच आई हैव पार्टिसिपेट इन टीचर डे एंड नाउ आई विल टीच यू अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्ले रिटर्न बाय टिपी कैलाजम द कर्ज ऑफ करना द सोर्स ऑफ दिस प्ले इन फाइव एक् is originally is the mahabharata it's appear that this was originally designed by typical lazam to be a screen play okay first of all we discuss about the short introduction about typical lazam the full name of typical lazam is the tyagaraj param shiva kailasam he was a popularly known as a typical lazam he was a famous for both great play writer as well as a great talented actor His play are lively representation of a theme taken mostly from ancient English literature. His a theme mostly taken from Mahabharata. Typicalism wrote on both language, Kannada language and uh, as well as English language. He is the most famous play in English language. Included the burden, the purpose, the kichakka. the fulfillment and the curse of karna the play curse of karna the brahmin curse is a baton on as the curse of karna is a kailasam's more sustained dramatic adventure kailasam seems to have made up his mind recast mind to recast and reassess the character of eklavya arjuna kichakka to when in his opinion justic may not have been done in the original play mahabharata in the curse of karna he with certain degradation from the original mahabharata has exalted the character of karna the play curse of karna is five act play in first act the play begin with karna's completion of education at parshuram's ashram at the last moment of his departure from the ashram he loses he has earned during his stay there why because he got the curse from parshurama um, at this time only uh, uh, parshurama only give education only brahmin child so here we can say that education system that uh, only have brahmin only brahmin sons have right to learn education and uh, karna was not a brahmin child and he speak wrong with his guru and uh, uh, give, uh, and take edu- uh, education from him and and he was uh, got curses from parshurama one day Parshu- uh, parshurama sleeping karna put his ha- his head on his leg and uh, suddenly the waps comes and start uh, waps comes on the leg of karna and start sucking blood but karna not remove his leg and uh, not remove his uh, parshuram's head and he was tolerated when parshuram parshuram wake up and see that this extra ordinary tolerance and he comes to know that he was not a brahmin because brahmin son was not able to told that this kind of tolerance so parshurama comes to know that such a youth cannot be brahmins as he has a pretended to be he must be no other than a kshatriya because kshatriya son he was able to the uh, able to this kind of tolerance tolerance and uh, parshurama comes to know that he was not brahmin and gets angry to the extent of cursing this sincere discipline thus and for thy disaster of life list to brahmin curse and guru parshurama gave gave the curse of karna if ever you should hence for the sh- surely need the use of arms you have learned of me the breast talk the midrest thought of thy supposed sut birth crossing thy mind will swell thy heart to sense of shame will dull thy thin eye 
and mind numb and paralyze thy limbs beyond their power to help thee make the slightest smallest use of knowledge that you have learned of me avant avant air inflict for a uh, further curse on thee so guru parshurama give the gave the curse uh, to karna that uh, when uh, the, uh, when that time he need need this education learn from me he was forget everything in act 2 in the in act 2 scene 1 karna is a disgust disgust as a matchless hero and arjuna is about to lose his position of best archer in the world but the brahmin curse again appears before him for his credit credentials known is that to recognize karna's irrespective of his birth and parentage without any shade of doubt he is a matchless warrior but he repeatedly discouraged by the pandit and pandavas so here no one no, no one knows about the reality and truth of karna's birth and everyone know that uh, karna is a sutputra and the, and uh, pandavas and pandit use insulting language for karna and insult him that he was a sutputra act 3 in act 3 again the brahmin victimized karna who is badly humiliated by draupadi in her swayamvar as soon as he rises to try his chance she boldly declares that even if the sud son fulfill his condition of marriage she will not accept him so here we can say that uh, uh, caste system here we can see the caste system that how lower class was insulted by upper class people draupadi uh, pandavas and pandit uh, repeatedly insulting karna that he was a sutputra act 4 act 4 present the greatest moment of karna's civilary and nobility with a certain bold digression kailasam present the episode of draupadi's humilia humiliation in the presence of the elders of Kuru family. In the original play Mahabharata, Draupadi, Draupadi is humili humiliated and dragged by her to the assembly hall and an attempt is made to disorder her by Dushasana. Karna also passes certain insulting comment on Draupadi and, and many elders also present in the hall but uh, they were no one stop Dushasana. But in the Kailasam's play, Karna, Karna instead of passing the remark, comes forward for her, for he rescue and defends the Korava's prince with boldness and courage of a true warrior. He warms Dushasana. Karna warms Dushasana that move but a step and you die. In final act, Act 5, Act 5 Kunti, the virgin mother of Karna, appeared before him to request him not to use the serpent shaft against the Pandavas. When the battle time, battle time, battle between Duryodhana and Pandavas, and uh, when Karna become a, a warrior, he come, she comes to Karna and uh, request her. So here we can see that uh, the selfishness of Kunti. When Kunti was virgin, she uh, gave the birth of Karna, uh, blessing of son's son, and uh, she was a virgin. So she was uh, thrown his thrown her child in river. So at that time, where she was, where where she was, she she don't think about the little child and the future of this little child and now when he, her five children are five uh, sons are in difficulty she comes to come to karna and uh, request him to do, uh, he uh, not use serpent shaft because 
the pandava 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 is his brother so here we can see that uh, selfishness of kunti karna unhesitatingly side with duryodhana so karna uh, uh, karna go to battle and fight with fight with them because he was a uh, true friend of duryodhana and he was not leave when his friend uh, was in difficulties and uh, he was fight fight against the pandavas who are the protected by lord krishna throughout his life the karna cannot make any use of the knowledge of arms that he has received from parshuram because of his curse the brahmin who curse him that karna's chariot wheel will be swallowed by the earth when he will fiercely comparing on the battlefield to kill his enemy so he is a curse from brahmin that when he was a go for battle his uh, field carrier field will be shallowed by the earth the same situation happened when he engaged in the fires fight with his enemy arjuna and the end at the instance of krishna arjuna kills karna and here the tragic end of the hero karna the curse of karna is a tragedy thematic materials collectively contribute contribute to the artistic excellence of the play typicalism very inter- interestingly made this character based on this presentation i have prepared a little quiz after the watching presentation you have appeared the quiz thank you very much happy teacher day